the mossy back bush crafting shovel. How are you gonna uh how are you gonna make a scoop you gonna make a scoop on the inside? Uh, make it I'm scoop? probably not gonna wallow it out just because no. it would take so long and we need to use it. <laughs> no doubt. Yeah, we can't leave this out here. Well yeah, we'll take it home and burn in mossy back outdoor adventures on it. There you go. Wouldn't that be sweet? Yep. I'll double it just a little bit. One poo shovel. That was good. Good enough, huh? Good enough to do business with. We dig that Dakota fire hole now. That's right. Say that again. We're digging a Dakota fire hole, and what it is is it's two side by side holes with, with an air tunnel underneath. One side is your fire side, the other side draws air in, and it acts kind of like a jet heater. And what we're going to do with it is when we get it dug out and going, we're going to put the grill over it and cook on it. And what it does, it's in this wet ground. Uh, it's not only you know insulated away from everything, but it creates a very little smoke. So, a few minutes, we should have this thing rolling. Awesome. Digging with our our homemade uh, poo shovel. <laughs> Surface root right here. Step on that bad boy. Switch bolt. Look at that. Now, how deep does the hole have to be? Probably a good foot, at least. Yeah. You gonna be able to do this? Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if I can get this jacket off or not, though. <laughs> I love my jacket. <laughs> Let me throw dirt on it. <laughs> Once you start to, uh, that's a pretty good idea, man. That is working good. And once you get down deep that's enough, funny. going across is going to be interesting because you got to go from the bottom of that other hole yep. with something smaller. This stuff's so soft, though. And wallow it out and, and without it collapsing. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Pocket knife, probably. We'll bring any PVC. We got no. Three, we got any three inch <laughs> PVC plane? <laughs> we didn't bring none of that. Oh, God. <laughs> Look at that. It's a shovel and a drill bit. <laughs> Pack that side down a little bit so it doesn't want to cave as bad. Yeah, I cannot believe that you have used that as a drill bit <laughs> and it is working. <laughs> that, that's the thing. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, you can see how deep. Yeah, you can good. you can check the depth of this one right here with that yeah. shovel, and that way you get the same depth in that hole. Actually, what what happens if you? Yeah. Let me get. Uh, that 
All right, looks like Adam has bored the hole in between the two. Bored the tunnel, I should say. How about that? Is that flame shooting straight up there? Mm-hmm. That's what you want, baby. <laughs> now she's going. So we're getting well, she's back out to our adventures, baby. We rock! That's awesome, man. Look at there. How about that? Straight up. Yeah, that's burning like grass, a rocket stove, man. Look at that stuff catching, that's great. Now we're gonna make a fire bundle. So if you like it. Here last time, processing up some some tinder. Fibrous bark. Stuff burns like crazy. Alright, that's a start. Yeah, that stuff is just dry as a it's just dry as it can be. I don't even need to I don't really even need to process that. Lay it in place, more or less. Yeah. She's a getting it. Beautiful. Let it continue to catch here for a second. You see how that's drawing up through that wood and that yep. flame shooting up? Mm -hmm. Kind of the same principle. I got you. Ideally, I could sit here and that's going to burn right straight down through and catch all that on fire in about 30 minutes. Yeah. Some people call it an upside down fire. <laughs> Works. I've never had one go out. I had to work at it a little bit sometimes, but yeah, this one went pretty good. Some of that wood's actually damp. So. Same here. I had to work a good bit too. You get yours you got, going? You got the pit going? 
sort of is. You got him a little stack there. down there. Like faster, you get a pretty good piece of, uh, nice job. pretty good size piece of fat wood to get it going, but hey, that's what it takes, man. Look at that thing. It's burning. Yep. It's drawing like crazy, too. Hmm. Good job, man. That's awesome. Adam, you gonna cook us up some bannock tonight or in the morning? I hear you. I'm all about some bannock. Plus, you'll have that good fire pit going. You'll be able to put that grill there, man. Yep. Look at that going. Wow. Yeah, it's like a rocket stove, dude. It's awesome. That's cool. Well, night number one, I'm here cooking some chili, as the package says, darn good chili. Adam, I'm, he's whittling out something over there, I ain't sure what he's doing. Good night, it's nice and cool, but the fire is nice and warm. So what are you doing over there, Adam? Well, you saw my spoon earlier, you know, it kind of curled up on me because it was, uh, <laughs> little plastic spoon that I happened to acquire from Dairy Queen because I forgot my other spoon. Now I'm making something that I can use to stir my food with. There you go. And scrape oh. it off the bottom without uh, it curling up. I like it. I believe it's poplar, which I think is food safe. If not, I'll have to go back to work for about a week, so. Well, I'm on round two of my chili. First round was awesome. And I will say it was darn good. <laughs> it's after dark now, so uh, had to turn on a few extra lights. Just that way we could, uh, way we could see. But uh, I'm probably don't need this. And he's got his big light out for the camera, so uh, I can see well now. But uh, Adam's over here. I don't know what he's doing. I think he's still trying to build his fire <laughs> for his food. But uh, hmm. That stuff right there will burn you. I got a violent <laughs> boil going on over here. Hear that. Almost have to turn it off just to make it quit boiling so hard. But anyway, everything's still going well. It's cold, but again, the fire's hot. Tomorrow, we're going to try to do some hiking somewhere. There's a waterfall upstream we'd like to go see, but I don't know if we're going to get the kayaks out. I'll be able to get out of the kayaks and beat them somewhere. But we'll see how it goes. Time will tell. One thing's for sure, we're going to have a good time. No doubt. Anyway, we'll talk to y'all later. <laughs>